this precious day you have given unto all of us. Lord, we thank you for your Holy Spirit. Yes, your God. Thank you for your Holy Spirit. Your Holy Spirit has helped us to worship you, Lord, and to meet with you. We thank you for your presence in the midst of your people, O oh God. Lord, we thank you for all that you have spoken to our hearts, individually and collectively. Even as we ministered unto you and waited in your presence, O oh God. You are no man's debtor. We thank you for the flow of life from your throne unto your people. Once again, Lord, bow down and worship. Your holy name, Lord. Lord, thank you for strengthening our inward man. Gratefully bow before you and confess that you are our God. Father, thank you for granting us once again this precious time to come around your word. Lord, we confess that man shall not live by bread alone, but man shall live by every word that proceedeth out of your mouth. Even so shall he live. Lord, it's our prayer that you will break the bread to us. That we may eat of it, Lord. Therefore, Lord, we draw nigh to thee. You will never turn the hungry away. We thank you, Lord, for granting us this time to hear your voice. Therefore, help all of us, Lord, to exercise our spiritual man, the faculties you have given unto us in your great mercies. We commit every one of us, Lord, that we would be careful to exercise our spiritual faculties, then remain, then remain in the realm of the soul and hear thy word. Oh, help all of us that the spiritual man in us may be active, active to thy Holy Spirit and receive life from your presence, O oh God. 
that we may see things which you alone can reveal unto us. Help all of us, therefore, Lord. We bring our lives to thee. Holy Spirit, help us. Come it also at this time, my brethren and myself. And help us, Lord, that we may receive that unction that we need, O oh God, this morning to share thy word to all of us. We confess our need. Need for you to help us, Lord, with words and expressions. That your word may not be limited. Holy Spirit, therefore, help us as we yield ourselves to the Lordship of thy Spirit once again. Lord God, it's our prayer that you would have the liberty over us. And Lord, you will have the Lordship over us. And you may not be limited. Help us to be sensitive to thy spirit, therefore. Even this morning, Lord, that's my prayer. My dependency is on you, Lord. Lead us and guide us. Once again, we bow down before thee and worship thee, Lord. Give you the glory and praise. And in Jesus' most precious and matchless name we pray. Amen. We thank God for this precious day that God has given unto us. We thank God for the way he helped us. Even in our worship. And prepare our spiritual man to receive his word. We thank God for all that God has been speaking to us. You know, his great desire to have a people who would stand with the Lord on Mount Zion. You know, this is God's purpose. The purpose of God would not be fulfilled in all the redeemed children of God. Because majority of God's people, they do not have a desire to pay the price and go on with the Lord. And therefore, and therefore we see this wonderful example and principle in the word of God. That God always had a remnant people. When the majority fail, God always had the few in whom God could fulfill what he has purposed. A people who are separated. A people who have been chosen. Many are called. But few are chosen. You know so there are those who are chosen. It's not because that God is partial and God made it very clear to us from his word. It's not that God has uh, some favorites but God has sent for this word and as we have seen from God's word whosoever believers shall be saved. Whosoever overcometh shall sit with him in his throne. So God is never partial. It is the heart of man where the choices and decisions are made. But we thank God that God has a remnant people while majority would not go the way of God. Though they are born again, 
They're baptized. And even spirit fell. And they say they love the Lord. But somehow. Their love will not, uh, is not bringing them to a place of obedience. To obey him at any cost. And move on with the Lord. You know, but the Lord always has a remnant. Who will love him. And obey his word. As Jesus said. If you, if you love me. You will obey my commandments. They will be willing to pay the price. And they will move on with the Lord. So we saw that 144,000. Standing with the Lord on Mount Zion. They are those who followed him. I know despite the cost. The price. Despite everything, rejection, everything they had to face upon this earth. You know, they are separated. They are, they are you know, a mountain, mountain dwellers. They, they move on into those heights of Zion. So as we heard last week, Lord, uh, let thy light and thy word, thy truth lead me to the hill of the Lord. Yes, it's the Lord who will bring us. So as we heard, we need light as we hear the truth. The words that he speaks, they are spirit and their life. The Lord, what the Lord speaks, is spirit and life. You know, so I'm sure as we would open ourselves and allow the Holy Spirit, He will give light upon the word. You know, as we exercise our spiritual faculties. You know, this cannot be done by somebody for you. I cannot do it for you. Nor somebody else can do it for you. You have to exercise yourself. And therefore, it's a responsibility that is resting upon you squarely. You know, so may God help us this morning that we will not waste our time, you know, just hearing, you know, with our physical or soul man. You know, but let the spiritual man hear what God has to say to us. We heard very clearly that they are those in whom representatively God would fulfill a work. They are a people, uh, you know, lifted up from everything that is of the earth. You know, and we heard many, many things. And it's my prayer that God will open our eyes. And we will receive this word into our spiritual man. And my brothers and sisters, these are the days this word has to become flesh in our lives. Yes, it is something that should work into our being. You know, it's not a matter we can appreciate and say, I believe in it, but it's time to walk in that by the help of the Holy Spirit. We heard about what is spirituality. And God has shown us the false spirituality among spiritual people. You know the Holy Spirit has been faithful to send 
that light unto us. You know, we heard that many a time heavenliness is seen as something abstract, something that is detached from our life, something imaginary. We heard very clearly it's very practical. You know, so we heard several precious counsels from God's word. We also heard how materialistic we are as the Lord's children. In our conceptions, in our judgments, in our evaluations, in our, in our thoughts, how we want to uh, really be, you know, uh, more conformed to how the world thinks about many, many things. So materialistic mind is not just talking about physical things of, you know, mit, uh, uh, prosperity and things like that. You know, so materialistic mind talks about how our thought realm is filled with the way the world evaluates things. How the world would accept and approve things. How the world thinks of life. How the world thinks about successful life. You know, uh, successful life. Yeah. They call something to be a successful life. When you have these, these things that you can show to people, you know, and that is accepted by the world. You know, that, that is what is seen as successful life. So, even in the Christian work it's seen, how everything is shown, you know, that the world may reckon you. But we know that scripture from the book of Numbers which speaks about that we are a nation not reckoned with. A people who dwell all alone. We read that in the book of Numbers chapter 23 and verse 9. Just for reference I am sharing this for many of our young ones. You know, for lo, the people shall dwell all alone and shall not be reckoned among the nations. So God's people, this is the prophecy about Israel. Lo, a people who dwell all alone. Present day Christianity doesn't like that word. Nor Israel of old like that. Because they always wanted to be like other nations. And that's why they came to Samuel and said, Make us a king. Like other nations. They wanted to be like other nations. No, this is materialistic mind. So materialistic mind and attitude is not just having some land and house and cars. It's more than that, our bank balance. It's much more than. It's a condition of our inward, you know, our, our, our mind. Yes, it speaks about that. Uh, Israel was materialistic that way. They wanted to be like other nations. They, they look like a funny people. 
அவர்கள் ஒரு ஹேவிங் நோ ரியல் கிங் ராஜா இல்லாமல் ஒரு வித்தியாசமான நோ ரியல் கவர்மெண்ட் எந்த ஒரு ராஜ்யமும் லைக் தி अदर நேஷன்ஸ் மற்ற ராஜ்யங்களை போல அவர்கள் இல்லை என்று உணர்ந்தார்கள் you know they had a king they had the armies and they had commanders and so many things மற்ற ராஜ்யங்களிலே ராஜாக்கள் இருந்தார்கள் சேனைகள் இருந்தார்கள் தளபதிகள் இருந்தார்கள் and they looked like a funny nation ஆனால் இவர்கள் வித்தியாசமான தேவன in the midst of many nations மற்ற ராஜ்யங்களுக்கு மத்தியிலே வித்தியாசமாக இவர்கள் இருந்தார்கள் this was in their heart for so many years பல வருடங்களாக இது அவர்கள் இருதயங்கள் காணப்பட்டது but one day they came up to samuel ana samirathil oru said we want to have a king like other nations matta rajyangalai pola oru rajyam vendum you know so vendu. this is materialistic mind idhu naan porulasi en chindha so today we see not only the churches but also the work of the lord is more become something that can be reckoned by the world today agave indru savagalil maathiram alla christumude ooliyathilum ulagam yetrukolla vendum engira oru manapaanga kaanapadugirathu yes ministries ஊழியங்கள் and also the churches சபைகளிலும் everything is looking for the world's approval எல்லாம் உலகத்தால் அங்கீகரிக்கப்பட வேண்டும் என்பதை எதிர்பார்க்கிறார்கள் you know oh may god deliver us from such things in our own lives ஆகவே நம்முடைய வாழ்வில் இருந்து தேவன் நம்மை இதிலிருந்து விடுதலை செய்யட்டும் you know so it's so important for us in our own individual life ஆகவே நம்முடைய தனிப்பட்ட வாழ்க்கை இது மிகப்பெரிய முக்கியம் we heard that for spirituality ஆகவே அவருக்கு much much about these things avikuriya vaalkai enbadhu ivigalil ellam velana oru we saw from god's word agave deva vaarthil irundha how christianity is immersed in false spirituality eppadi christuvam anadhu poiyana avikuriya vaalkaiyile mungi poi irukirad endru paarkirom we heard spirituality is tremendously a potent factor it's a very powerful factor agave avikuriya vaalkai enbadhu oru வல்லமை உள்ள ஒரு காரியம் என்று நாம் பார்த்தோம் yes we heard very clearly last week கடந்த வாரம் மிக தெளிவாக கேட்டோம் and how we need to be delivered from that materialistic attitude and mentality in our lives நம்முடைய வாழ்க்கையிலே அந்த பொருளாசியின் சிந்தை அந்த மனோபாவத்திலிருந்து எவ்வளவு அதிகமாய் வெளிவரவேண்டும் என்று நாம் பார்த்தோம் our spiritual birth in christ ஆகவே ஆவிக்குரிய பிறப்பிலே what is born of the spirit is spiritual we heard ஆவியினால் பிறந்தது ஆவிக்குரியது என்று கேட்டோம் so god's focal point today is to help our spiritual man to grow on in him ஆகவே நம்முடைய ஆவிக்குரிய மனிதன் வளர வேண்டும் அவரிலே வளர வேண்டும் என்பதிலே தேவன் அவருடைய ஆவிக்குரிய மனிதன் வளர வேண்டும் என்பதிலே தேவன் கண்ணோக்கமாக இருக்கிறார் டு ஹெல்ப் தி நியூ மேன் இன் கிறிஸ்ட் டு க்ரோ கிறிஸ்துவுகள் இருக்கிற அந்த புதிய மனிதன் வளர வேண்டும் என்று தேவன் விரும்புகிறார் we also heard the natural man has his own faculties சுபாவ மனிதனுக்கு அவனுக்கென்றே ஒரு புலன்கள் உண்டு you know and also the spiritual man has his own faculties மேலும் ஆவிக்குரிய மனிதனுக்கு அவனுக்கு என்ற தனியான Now the most important thing who is being fed in our lives நம்முடைய வாழ்விலே யாருக்கு நாம் भोजनம் கொடுக்கிறோம் அதுதான் முக்கியம் Yes When we hear God's word தேவ வார்த்தையை நாம் கேட்கும்போது If only the soul man is active and hearing our spiritual man has no strength அந்த ஆத்ம மனிதன் மாத்திரம் உயிரோடு இருந்து கேட்டால் ஆவிக்குரிய மனிதனுக்கு பலம் இருக்காது Yes so we need to realize which man is active even this morning as we are hearing God's word ஆகவே இந்த காலை பொழுதும் தேவனுடைய வார்த்தையை கேட்கும் பொழுது எந்த மனிதன் உயிரோடு இருக்கான் என்பதை நாம் பார்க்க வேண்டும் and it is the spiritual man that the holy spirit is concerned in our lives அப்படியாக இந்த ஆவிக்குரிய மனிதனை தான் தேவன் கண்ணோக்கமாய் இருக்கிறார் The Holy Spirit is given this great responsibility. பரிசுத்த ஆவியானவருக்கு இந்த மிகப்பெரிய பொறுப்பு கொடுக்கப்பட்டிருக்கிறது. Help the spiritual man in us to become strong. நமக்குள்ளாக இருக்கிற ஆவிக்குரிய மனிதனை பலசாலியாக ஆக்க வேண்டும் என்பதாய் இருக்கிறது. And it is through this spiritual man the soul man is going to be brought in line with God's purpose. அப்படியாக இந்த ஆவிக்குரிய மனிதன் மூலமாக தான் இந்த ஆத்ம மனிதன் சரியாக போகிறான். தேவனுடைய தீர்மானத்துக்கு நேராக வர போகிறான் we heard very precious counsels last week 
கடந்த வாரம் மிகப்பெரிய ஆலோசனைகளை my prayer is as the psalmist said the lord would send the light upon this truth இந்த சத்தியத்தின் மேலாக தேவன் வெளிச்சத்தை கொண்டு வர வேண்டும் என்று நான் ஜெபிக்கிறேன் i don't know if that was your prayer even the last week கடந்த வாரம் உங்களிலே இந்த ஜெபம் இருந்தால் if that was the prayer of your heart உங்கள் இதயத்தில் எப்படி நீங்கள் ஜெபம் பண்ணியிருந்தால் and i am sure the holy spirit will help us நிச்சயமாக ஆவியானவர் உங்களுக்கு உதவி செய்வார் but if we have no burden to pray on these lines ஆனால் இப்படியாக நீங்கள் ஜெபிக்க பாரம் இல்லை என்றால் then all that we hear in these days will merely remain as a doctrine in our lives நம்முடைய வாழ்வில் இந்த நாட்களில் கேட்கிற எல்லா வசனங்களும் ஒரு உபதேசமாகவே நிலைத்திருக்கும் you know there is no growth in our relationship with the lord devanodu kuda irukkira uravila endha oru valarchi nor we are going to experience any change in our life illa vittal nammude vaalkil endha oru maatrathai kondu irukkiradhu and we are going to be more frustrated in our walk with god devanodu kuda irukkira nadakkaiyile naam innum virakthiyaga thaan we will be upset with god will be upset with the church of god devanodu kudum deva savayodum kuda neengal adirthi adaindu kaanapaduveergal yeah we as we heard we are not to walk after the flesh நாம் மாம்சத்தின் படி நடக்காமல் என்று கேட்டோம் and that we are to walk after the spirit நாம் ஆவியின் படி நடக்க வேண்டும் yes and we heard to be carnally minded is death மாம்ச சிந்தை மரணம் என்று கேட்டோம் yes but to be spiritually minded is life ஆனால் ஆவியின் சிந்தையோ ஜீவன் yes you know we heard all these counsels of god even last week கடந்த வாரம் இந்த தேவனுடைய எல்லா ஆலோசனைகளையும் கேட்டோம் you know if the holy spirit is resident and is given a place i tell you he is going to do a great work in our lives in these days இந்த நாட்களிலே ஆவியானவர் நமக்குள்ளாக வாசம் செய்து அவருக்கு கிரியை செய்து அனுமதி கொடுத்தால் மிகப்பெரிய கிரியை நாம் அனுபவிப்போம் but if we are going to ignore this holy spirit ஆனால் இந்த பரிசுத்த ஆவியானவரை அசட்டே செய்தால் and continue to live our life the way we want to nam eppadi virumbugiromo appadiyagave thodarndu vaala vendina and our spirituality is only when we gather together nam koodum poludhu nam aavikuriya manidharaga mathram i would say that's a false spirituality adu poiyana oru aavikuriya vaalkaiyaagum because many are living in that realm of false spirituality yenandal anaiga irundha poiyana aavikuriya mandrathil as we heard true spirituality உண்மையான ஆவி குறியது detaches from this earth இந்த பூமியில இருந்து நம்மை விலக்க வேண்டும் remember the church is purely and fully heavenly holy heavenly சபையானது முழுமையாக உன்னதத்துக்குரியது பரலோகத்துக்குரியது she will have nothing of this earth in her இந்த பூமிக்குரியதை அவள் கொண்டிருக்க மாட்டாள் the sun did not have குமாரன் இல்லாதது போல even so it shall be with his bride அப்படியாகவே மனவாட்டியும் இந்த பூமியில் இருப்பாள் amen do you believe in this Oh yes we believe as a doctrine. ஒரு உபதேசமாக விசுவாசிக்கிறோம். But I am so asking you whether do you believe it beyond a doctrine? ஒரு உபதேசத்துக்கு மேலாக தேவி நீங்கள் விசுவாசிக்கிறீர்களா? Now that's a question you have to answer to the Lord. இந்த கேள்விக்கு நீங்கள் That is something you have to check with yourself. உங்களுக்கு நீங்களே சோதிக்க வேண்டும். Rather than answering me today. இன்று எனக்கு பதில் கொடுப்பதற்கு பதிலாக Oh I would encourage you therefore. ஆகவே உங்களை நான் உச்சரிப்பது. Please hear by the spirit. தயவு செய்து ஆவியின் The Lord would help us on. தேவன் நமக்கு உதவி செய்ய. You know as uh, I would like to move on today further. இன்று நான் தொடர்ந்து செல்வோம். You know as we heard what is spirituality? ஆவிக்குரியது என்றால் என்ன என்று கேட்டோம். Spirituality is that which is signified by the heavens. ஆவிக்குரியது அந்த உன்னதங்களினால் அடையாளப்படுத்தக்கூடியதாகும். You know spirituality is where heavens govern our life. ஆவிக்குரியது என்றால் பரலோகம் நம்மை ஆளுகை செய்கிறது என்ற அர்த்தம் எஸ் தட் இஸ் ஸ்பிரிச்சுவாலிட்டி அதுதான் ஆவிக்குரியது யூ நோ தட் விச் இஸ் born of the spirit ஆவியினால் பிறந்த காரியம் தட் விச் இஸ் from above மேல இருந்து வந்த காரியங்கள் தட் இஸ் ஸ்பிரிச்சுவாலிட்டி அதுதான் ஆவிக்குரியது யூ நோ ஸ்பிரிச்சுவாலிட்டி ஹஸ் நோ ரூட்ஸ் ஆன் திஸ் எர்த் ஆவிக்குரியவைகளுக்கு பூமியிலே வேறு இல்லை. Now we need to understand this. இதை நாம் புரிந்து கொள்ள வேண்டும். As you know as we know that we all have grown in in a Christian realm where everything has been such a mixture. அப்படியாக இந்த கிறிஸ்தவ மண்டலத்திலே எல்லாம் கலப்படமாக இருக்கிறது அதில்தான் நாம் வளர்ந்து கொண்டு வந்தோம். Yes. Lot of things are called spirituality. 
anega karyangal aavikku you know and when the light comes aanal velicham varumbolu you know and our eyes are open nammude kangal therakkapadum i'm sure the lord will help us devan namakku nichayamaya udavi seiyum the light is coming on the truth satyathin mel velicham varugirathu and that's going to lift us up onto his holy hill avarude parishutha parvatharkku adu nammai mele kondu seiyum that is going to lead us in these days indha naalkalile avigal nammai valinadathu so let's not play with you know the things which god is giving us in his mercy agave devan than irakathinal kodukira karyangalodu kuda nam velaiyala let's not abuse what god is giving us devan kodukira karyathe nam theettu padatha vendam like israel of old in their lives palaya erpattu israi varagal appadi seidargal you know the measure of spirituality therefore in our lives agave nammude aavikuriya vaalvin alavanadhu is the measure of the power which is working in us according to god தேவனுக்கு ஏற்றபடி அவருடைய வல்லமையானது எவ்வளவு அதிகமாக கிரியை செய்கிறதோ அதை பொறுத்தே இருக்கிறது எஸ் தட் இஸ் ஸ்பிரிச்சுவாலிட்டி அதுதான் ஆவிக்குரியது எஸ் சோ வாட் டு வீ மீன் பை ஸ்பிரிச்சுவாலிட்டி ஆகவே ஆவிக்குரியது என்றால் என்ன as we have seen in the last uh, meditations கடந்த தியானங்களிலே நாம் கேட்டது போல people think that it's so unreal அது நடைமேருக்கு வந்தது அல்ல என ஜனங்கள் நினைக்கிறார்கள் பீப்பிள் திங் ஸ்பிரிச்சுவாலிட்டி இஸ் இமேஜினரி ஆவிக்குரியதே கற்பனை என்று நினைக்கிறார்கள் समथिंग दैट இஸ் அப்ஸ்ட்ராக்ட் கண்களுக்கு புலப்படாத காரியம் யூ நோ சம் ஆஃப் us are still in that realm i feel நம்மில் சிலரும் இப்படிப்பட்ட மண்டலத்திலே காணப்படுகிறோம் you may accept it on a sunday ஞாயிற்றுக்கிழமை வேணால் ஏற்றுக்கொள்ளலாம் but in your daily life ஆனால் உங்களுடைய அனுதின வாழ்வில் you are more overcome by these thoughts இந்த நினைவில் தான் நீங்கள் ஜெயம் கொள்ளப்படுகிறீர்கள் yeah you think spirituality means something totally unpractical in your life ஆகவே நீங்கள் நினைக்கிறீர்கள் ஆவிக்குரியது என்பது உங்களுடைய வாழ்விலே நடைமுறைக்கு உகந்தது அல்ல என்று நினைக்கிறீர்கள் but we need to realize this by the holy spirit ஆனால் ஆவியின் மூலமாக இது that it is not so அப்படி இல்லை என்றால் spirituality and heavenly heavenliness is something very practical we heard it and we must go back to god's word again and see it ஆகவே இந்த ஆவிக்குரிய காரியம் உன்னத காரியம் மிகவும் நடைமுறைக்கு உகந்தது என்பதை பார்ப்பதற்கு நீங்கள் மறுபடியும் வேதத்திற்கு செல்ல வேண்டும் you know there is a word today which very prevalent in not only in christianity but also in other religion and that is called mysticism apdiyaga kristuva ulagathilum matra edangalilum mayavadam engira oru vaarthai megavum prasiddhi petru kaanapadukirathu i do not want to major on that thought today and the but i just want to mention that to us naan ungalukku idai solla venum mysticism is not spirituality agave apdi mayavadam enbadu aavikuriyad alla you know in god's word there are mysteries devude vaarthile ragasiyangal undu so don't get confused between mystery and mysticism agave inda mayathai kurithum ragasiyathai kurithum kulambikolla vendam yes we need to understand this idai nam purindukollavendum it's not one and the same thing inda irandum onralla as i said i'm not going to major on mysticism agave inda mayavadathai kurithu but mystery in the new testament anal pudhi erpaadile ragasiyam undu means that there are things which are hidden avigal marakkapattavigal endra artham you know things which are secret avigal ragasiyamana endra artham aagum Yes which only God can reveal unto us. நமக்கு தேவன் மாத்திரமே அதை வெளிப்படுத்த முடியும். That is called mystery. அதுதான் ரகசியம் என்றால் things which God has hidden from man. மனிதனிலிருந்து தேவன் மறைத்து வைத்திருக்கிற காரியங்கள். And only God by his holy spirit can reveal it unto us. நமக்கு தேவன் பரிசுத்தாவின் மூலம் மாத்திரமே அதை வெளிப்படுத்த முடியும். But mysticism is entirely and totally a different thing. ஆனால் மாயவாதம் என்பது மிகவும் வித்தியாசமான ஒன்றாகும். You know and there we see the soul man is so much tied up with mysticism. அங்கதான் ஆத்ம மனிதன் அந்த மாயவாதத்தினால் மிகவும் பிடிக்கப்பட்டிருக்கிறான். பிராணோ का जो मनुष्य है पूरी रीत से जुड़ा हुआ है. Yes. So we need to really understand this. ஆகவே இதை நாம் உணர்ந்து கொள்ள வேண்டும். As I said I'm not going to major on it. அதை நான் அதிகமாய் சொல்லவில்லை. Yes. You know these are two different things. இது மிகவும் வித்தியாசமானது. Spirituality is not imaginary. 
ஆவிக்குரியது கற்பனை உள்ளது அல்ல spirituality according to god's word deva vaarthin padi aavi kuriyad endral but if you go into the world today aanal ulagathirkku ningal sendral and look at what they call it avargal eppadi pesugiral endru paarthal spirituality is so linked with mysticism aavi kuriyad avargalukku mayavadathinal kattapattirukkirathu thodarbukkapattirukkirathu so then get caught up with that we need to turn to the word of god aanal nam deva vaarthikku thirumbi varavendum Don't go into Google and look at it. Google sende idu arthathe paarka vendam. If you go to Google mysticism spirituality is one and the same thing. Anga sendal maya vaadamum aavi kuriyadum ondraga dhaan theriyum. Why I say that this is what the world is of. Idu dhaan ulagam nirindirikkirad endru adarkaga. But we need to know that mysticism can lead you even into things which are evil. அப்படியாக இந்த மாயவாதம் மாயவாதமானது நமக்கு தீங்கின் காரியங்களுக்கு கூட அழைத்து செல்லும் ஈவல் டு த கோர் அப்படியாக மிகவும் அடிப்படையில் தீங்கான இருக்கிற காரியங்களுக்கும் கூட எடுத்து செல்லும் you know it's so sad today ஆகவே இந்த among believers விசுவாசிகள் mysticism has replaced true spirituality அவருடைய வாழ்க்கையிலே ஆவிக்குரிய உண்மையான காரியமானது மாயவாதத்தில் among the pentecostal and charismatics விசேஷமாக பெந்தகோஸ்தே மற்றும் வரங்களில் செயல்படுகிறது மத்தியில் you know they begin to see things அவர்கள் காரியங்களை காண ஆரம்பிக்கிறார்கள் and all that says that god shown them தேவன் அவர்களுக்கு காண்பிக்கிறார் என்று சொல்கிறார்கள் you know things which are not you know true in the light of god's word தேவ வார்த்தையின் வெளிச்சத்திலே அது சரியில்லாமல் இருக்கிறது உண்மை இல்லாமல் இருக்கிறது சோ தேர் இஸ் சோ மச் ஆஃப் மிஸ்டிசிசம் டுடே அமங் ஸ்பிரிச்சுவல் பீப்பிள் ஆகவே இன்று ஆவிக்குரிய ஜனங்களின் மத்தியிலே अनेक மாயவாதம் யூ நோ சோ वी ஹேவ் டு वी வாண்ட் us to be very careful ஆகவே ஒருவர் ஜாக்கிரதை பட் ரிமெம்பர் தி சோல் இஸ் சோ மச் காட் அப் வித் மிஸ்டிசிசம் ஆகவே உணர்ந்து கொள்ளுங்கள் இந்த ஆத்துமா அதிகமாக மாயவாதத்தினால் பிடிக்கப்பட்டிருக்கிறது எஸ் and mysticism is involved in many things which are imaginary agave inda mayavadathile karpanayana adhiga karyangal kaanapadugirathu yes but spirituality aanal aavikuriyathu is real adu unmaiyanadhu i want to tell you ungalku solugiren spirituality and heavenliness is real aavikuriyathu unnada karyamum unmaiyanadhu but mysticism is purely of the soul realm anal mayavadam enbadu mukhyamaga aathma mandalathaye saarndirukirathu yeah so i would encourage all of us adave naan ungalai utsagapadu that god may help us to see the mysteries by the help of the holy spirit aavi varshutha aaviyanor moolamaga devan namakku ragasiyangalai kaana udavi seiyattum yes You know why I just referred this is yen idai naan ungalku solgiren you know I know that there are many you know when you go to some places there are visionaries sila edangalukku gnana dirshikarargal they go and see things avargal karyangalai paarkkar there it is you dig here inga thondungal and you dig there anga thondungal endru solgirargal you fast for 21 days 21 naal vaasam sei You know then I see that some car is going over the hill down adarkapram inda malai pattanathukku melaga oru car poigiradai paarkiren endru solugirargal where where there are mountains it cannot be in delhi because there no mountain here it can be in kerala or northeast adu kerala vil what i'm trying to say is that you know and people get scared of these things appadiyaga janangal idai kurithu bayandirukkaru you know there are a lot of people and they are seen as visionaries appadipatta janangalai avargal gnana dirshikarargal endru solluvaru they never see corruption avargal oolalai paarkiradillai they never see corruption avargal oolalai paarkiradillai no corruption nay panam kodukku padukiradai ah uh, all kinds of corruption ella vidamana ulalaiyum paarkiradillai yeah they don't see adai paarkiradillai they don't see that adai avargal paarkiradillai none of these visionaries ever have gone and spoken to some of them said you are living under corruption neengal ulalai vaalgireergal endru indha gnana dirshikarargal solugiradillai anai brashtachar idhar se udhar se paisa deta hai ingendru angendru panam vaangugirathu idhai kurithu solugiradillai they never speak that 
அதை அவர்கள் பேசுகிறதே இல்லை they never go to the the church and say the elder is smoking and chewing and living this kind of life they don't say sabai ke sende solugirad illai they they don't see that adhe avargal paarkirad but they will go to poor people their houses and say dig there anal ele janangal edathile poi solli ange thondu endru solugirad and this is reality happening indha unmai nadandukondirukirad fast for 7 days yelu naal upavasi you will overcome accident that's about to happen in your house varigira vibhathil irundhu these are all mystical people ivigal ella maya this is not the holy spirit i would say this i believe in the gifts i believe the holy spirit can speak to you ungalukku aaviyana or pesuvar endru paathukiren this it this you know kind of thing is not born of the holy spirit yanal indha kaaryangal aaviyanal pirandhad alla i hardly heard any of these visionary saying go into house and say you should be born again நீங்கள் மறுபடியும் பிறக்க வேண்டும் என்று இந்த ஞானம் They even do not know the people in their house to whom they are telling fast and pray if they are born again. அப்படியாக உபவாசி என்று சொல்கிற ஜனங்கள் மறுபடியும் பிறந்திருக்கிறார்களா என்று கூட அவங்களுக்கு தெரியாது. नहीं नहीं उनको पता भी नहीं है जिससे बोल रहे इधर खोदो उधर खोदो वो बोन अगेन और नहीं. யாரிடத்தில் சென்று தோண்டுங்கள் என்று சொல்கிறார்களோ அவர்கள் மறுபடியும் பிறந்திருக்கலாம். They tell them do this fast and pray. ஆனால் உபவாசி என்று சொல்ல They do not know if they are even born again. அவர்கள் மறுபடியும் பிறந்திருக்கலாம் என்று கூட அவங்களுக்கு They don't even tell them that you must be born again. நீ நிச்சயமாய் மறுபடியும் பிறக்க வேண்டும். Otherwise you cannot enter the kingdom of God. இல்லவிட்டால் தேவராஜில் பிரவேசிக்க மாட்டா என்று சொல்ல மாட்டார்கள். Be careful. ஆகவே we are living in a time நாம் வாழ்கிற Many things are known as spirituality. अनेक कार्यங்கள் ஆவிக்குரியது நான் And I want to say to you in the authority of God's word. ஆகவே ஆவி ஆவி Much of these things are not born of the spirit. இவைகள் எல்லாம் ஆவியினால் பிறக்கவில்லை. Uh, there is a lot of mysticism today inge anega maya vadam kaanapadigirathu and that is called spirituality by many even born again baptized spirit filled people as well melum kuda marubadiyum perandha gana thandam petra aavil nerambiyavargal kuda idai aavikuriyad endru alaikkirargal you know one thing ungal kondu you know as i said when it comes to mysticism the soul is so caught up with that maya vadam endru varumbolude aathuvum manidan adhigamaga pidikapadigiran soul man ha ah. ah. oh. if i don't fast something will happen to me naan upavasikkavilla endal enakku edhavathu neridume drawn to that agave apdi pidikka spiritual man or a natural man soul man idu aavikuriya manidana soul man is often drawn to these things agave aathuma manidan adhigamaga pidikka padigira and i would encourage you brothers and sisters agave en devathile naan we need to discern and know what is true spirituality unmayana aavikuriyad endrai naam arindhu nidhaan a lot of things going on today anega karyangal indru sendru kondirukirathu now when we look into the life of you know when we look into the writings of paul paularudaiya nirupatha naam paarkumbolude you know we see his letters to the corinthians corinthia sabai kavargalude nirubangalai naam paarkirathu i just want to go back again to the book of uh, first corinthians onnu korindirukkalude nirubam yes We have been there, but we'll go back again. Marubadi nam selvo. The Lord want to shed more light to us. Devan namag velichathe tarato. So let's listen to. You know he writes here. Inga avar yelthi gira. Um. You know chapter three and verse one. Mundra madhi karam vanna vasanam. And I, brethren, could not speak unto you or write unto you. as unto spiritual naan ungale aavi kuriyavargal endru enni ungalodu kuda pesa kodamal yes but as unto carnal as unto babes maamsothir kuriyavargal endrum kristuvukal kulandigal endrum enni pesa vendiyadha i fed you with milk and uh, not with meat naan ungale paalai kudukka kudutten ungalku bodharam kodukka mudiyavillai You know the Paul wrote this letter to the Corinthians Corinthians-களுக்கு பவுலான் அவர் இந்த நிருபத்தை எழுதுகிறார் In many places he used the word uses the word spiritual ஆவிக்குரிய காரியம் என்பதை அவர் अनेक இடங்களிலே எழுதி இருக்கிறார் கை ஸ்தானமே ஆவிக்குரிய In many places in his letter to the Corinthians he speaks about spiritual ஆவிக்குரியதை அவர் என்ற வார்த்தையை अनेक முறை No I have no time to get into all those verses where he used spiritual please do that as you find time 
ஆகவே நீங்கள் நேரம் எடுத்து நீங்கள் வாசியுங்கள் ஐ குட் நாட் ஹேவ் மச் டைம் என்னிடத்திலே நேரம் அதிகம் இல்லை ஹானஸ்ட்லி சே தட் ஸ்டே யூ இதை நான் உங்களுக்கு உண்மையாக பட் யூ கேன் டு தட் யுவர் செல்ஃப் ஆனால் நீங்கள் அதை செய்யலாம் யூ நோ ஜஸ்ட் லுக் ஃபார் அண்ட் யூ வில் ஃபைண்ட் many places he has used the word spiritual ஆவி புரியது என்கிற காரியத்தை அவர் अनेक இடங்களிலே பயன்படுத்திருக்கிறார் யூ நோ இன் சாப்டர் 12 நிதானிக்கிறார் <laughs> you can look up sometimes do your homework at home not now that's why it's called homework not church work church work is sit and listen carefully exercising your faculties now so he says spiritual agave ange aavi kuriyad endru solugira spiritual 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 aavi kuriyad aavi kuriyad aavi kuriyad but they are not a spiritual people ana lavagal aavi kuriyad janangal you understand this ningal purigira you know it's it looks like a you know uh, is contradiction idu oru muranbaadu poda therigirathu he says i could not speak unto a spiritual but carnal aavi kuriyavargal pola ungalai enni pesa mudiyavillai neengal maamsathu but he is talking about spiritual matters again anal avargalidathile aavi kuriyavargal pesugirar spiritual gifts and so on varangalai kurithu pesugirar you know what does that mean adan artham enna may god the holy spirit open your eyes of understanding today காரியங்களிலே மிக ஆர்வமாய் காணப்பட்டார்கள் exceedingly interested mega adhigamai aarvamai irundha ah ruchi dekhte the exceedingly interested in spiritual things aavi kuriya karyangalile adhiga naatam kondavaraga irundargal they were even fascinated with spiritual things avargal migavum aavi kuriya karyangalinal kavarndu ilukapattirundargal fascinated strongly drawn like mega adhigamaga avargal strong feeling within them avargal kulaga irukapattirundargal yes in other words they were occupied with spiritual things aavi kuriya karyangalinal avargal migavum pidikapattirundargal adile selpattu kondirundargal speaking in tongues அன்னிய பாஷையில் பேசுவது த கிஃப்ட்ஸ் ஆஃப் த ஹோலி ஸ்பிரிட் பரிசுத்த ஆவியின் வரங்களில் செயல்படுவது many things which are spiritual ஆவிக்குரிய अनेक காரியங்கள் which are called spiritual ஆவிக்குரியது என்று அழைக்கப்படுகிறவர்கள் அவைகளில் செயல்பட்டார்கள் you know and yet இருந்தாலும் Paul had to call them i cannot speak unto you as unto spiritual ஆவிக்குரியவர்கள் என்று எண்ணி உங்களோடு கூட பேச முடியவில்லை என்று சொல்கிறார் என்னுகிறேன் ஆவிக்குரிய காரியங்களிலே மிக ஆர்வமாக ஈடுபட்டு காணப்படுகிறார்கள் ஆவிக்குரிய காரியங்களிலே தொடர்ந்து செயல்படவும் விரும்புகிறார்கள் ஆவிக்குரிய வரங்கள் அது ஆவிக்குரியது என்று பால் சொல்கிறார் i do not speak unto you as unto spiritual but as unto carnal 
உங்களோடு கூட ஆவிக்குரியவர்கள் என்று எண்ணி உங்களோடு கூட பேச முடியவில்லை நீங்கள் மாம்சத்திற்குரியவர்கள் என்று எண்ணுகிறேன் என்று சொல்கிறான் அதன் அர்த்தம் என்ன மே தோலி ஸ்பிரிட் அண்ட் லைட்னஸ் What does that mean? People are interested in spiritual things, quote unquote. Right? But Paul says, yet I could not speak unto you as unto spiritual but carnal. Why? He's enjoying the message. Yes. Hmm. Yes. Why? Why did Paul say it looks like a real contradiction? இது ஒரு மிகப்பெரிய முரண்பாடு போட தெரிகிறது ஏன் அப்படி அவர் சொல்கிறார் Let me say this to you. உங்களுக்கு அதை நான் சொல்ல விரும்புகிறேன். By the help of the Holy Spirit. பரிசுத்தாவின் உதவியோடு கூட it is possible to have carnal interest in spiritual things. ஆகவே ஆவிக்குரிய காரியங்களிலே மாம்ச வாஞ்சையை கொண்டிருப்பது சாத்தியம்தான். ஆப்கி அந்தர் ஆத்மீக பாத்தோம் கோ பானிக்கிலியே சாரிரிக் இச்சா ஹோ சக்தா ஹே ஆகவே ஆவிக்குரிய காரிங்களை பெருவதற்கு மாம்சை இச்சைகளை கொண்டிருப்பதும் சாத்தியம் தான் உங்களுக்கு இது அதிர்ச்சியா இருக்கிறதா இட் இஸ் பாசிபிள் இது சாத்தியம் கார்னல் இன்ட்ரெஸ்ட் இன் ஸ்பிரிச்சுவல் திங்ஸ் ஆவிக்குரிய காரியங்களிலே மாம்சை இச்சையை கொண்டிருப்பது சாத்தியம் தான் very very important mega mega mukhyamana ondru idu we may not hear many people speak this truth inda satyathi anegar pesugirade nam kekka mudiyadu but it's the truth in god's word aanal deva vaarthil idu satyamaga irukkirathu and may god open our eyes to see this idai paarpadhukku deva nam kangalai therakattum a good number of believers today indra anega viswasigal they are interested in many spiritual gifts aavikuri anega varangalile avargal aarvamai irukkirargal yes they are interested avargalukku aarvam undu in in many of these gifts of the holy spirit parthutha aavin pala varangalile they are happy to speak in tongues anya bhashil pesuvathil sandosham irukkirargal they are happy to prophesy அவர்கள் திருக திருத்தனமாக சந்தோஷமாக இருக்கிறார்கள் they want to have the gifts of healings அவர்கள் குணமாக்கும் வல்லமையை பெற விரும்புகிறார்கள் but majority of them are carnally interested in it ஆனால் அவர்களில் பெரும்பான்மையான பேர்கள் மாம்சத்துக்குரிய இச்சைகளை கொண்டு வாஞ்சிக்கிறார்கள் yes this is what paul could see in the corinthian church இதே தான் குரந்திய சபையிலே பவுலானவர் கண்டார் yes you know the gifts are things which can be demonstrated before others agave inda varangal mattravargalukku munbaga velippadithi kanvikka koodiya veigal dhaan yes and this display of the gifts inda varangal before others and the desire to show it before others is nothing but carnality ஆகவே இந்த வரங்களை மற்றவர்களுக்கு முன்பாக வெளிப்படுத்தி காண்பிக்கக்கூடிய ஒரு காரியமானது மாம்சத்துக்குரியதுதான் வேறொன்றும் அல்ல இனோ எனிங் தட் இஸ் லுக்கிங் அவுட் ஃபார் அ டிஸ்பிளே ரிமம்பர் இஸ் த எவிடன்ஸ் ஆஃப் த கார்னல் சென்சஸ் ஆகவே எந்த ஒரு காரியத்தையும் வெளிப்படையாக காண்பிக்க விளம்பரப்படுத்துவதற்கு ஒரு சிந்தை இருந்தால் அது மாம்சத்திற்குரிய எண்ணத்திலிருந்து விளைவு அதன் விளைவாக வருகிறதாகும் you know something that can be displayed endo or karyathiyum velippadiyaga kaanvikka virumbu that is something that the soul 
likes or the natural man likes. In the karya te and the subhava manidan, atuma manidan virumagra. That's carnality. Adi dan mam sadur kuriya. You know everything that wants to be displayed before men. Yes. Now remember that I am not doing away with the spiritual gifts. You know, but Paul makes it very clear while writing to the Corinthians. Yeah, please remember that. You know, Paul says like this in chapter 14. You know, he says very clearly. Verse 12, even so ye, for as much as ye are zealous of spiritual gifts, seek that ye may excel to the edifying of the church. Remember, these gifts are meant for the edification, the building of the body of Christ. And Paul is speaking to the local churches in Corinth. In other words, he says, these gifts are not for display. Today, in the Pentecostal, in the charismatic realm, these gifts have become ornaments that they wear to show others. Yes. Yes. To display, remember, these gifts are not meant for display where the soul is excited, the soul is satisfied, the natural man wants evidences before others, but Paul says, this is for the edification of the local church. Yes. Now, this is important. Listen carefully. So, we are not doing away with the gifts. Amen. But we need to get it rightly. See the soul man, the carnal nature can would like to lay hold of spiritual things and make a display of that and there's a great satisfaction for whom? The soul man. Yeah. Yes. So don't get disturbed by, by what I'm sharing. Understand it by the spirit. Disturbances are good. That means God is trying to do something new in you. If you don't understand, it's a good thing. If you keep always understanding, there's something wrong there. When you don't understand, the Holy Spirit will have an access to show you. May God help us. Now look at what Paul is saying again. For I pray in the unknown tongue, my spirit prayeth. My, my spirit prayeth. Please read brother. Chapter 14 and verse 14. Hmm. When I pray in unknown tongue, it is, it is that I am praying in the Spirit. Not to show to others. You know, I am also baptized in the Holy Spirit. You understand what I mean? I also got this. You got it, I got it. It's not for a public display. So when I pray in tongues, I am praying in the Spirit. You understand what I am saying? Do you understand what I am saying? Please understand this. This is not something we wear before others and display before others for others to know. I also got it like you have it. Now, I am also Pentecostal. Not that. 
This is not for that, my brothers and sisters. We need to understand this rightly and clearly. So Paul says, what is then, brethren? I will pray with my spirit, with the spirit. I will pray with the understanding also. I will do both. Yes. Now this is what Paul's resolve is in his life. So it's my prayer the Holy Spirit would open our eyes, send the light on the truth. You know, so we see the carnal man, you know, looks for evidences to our natural senses. You know, and that's carnality. Yes. If you want to show, if you want to display, you want to prove, that can end up in carnality. This is what Paul is saying to the Corinthians. So remember brothers and sisters, you and I can be interested in spiritual things and yet be carnal. At least mentally. At least mentally. And pray that it may be light to us. Yes. So we can be interested in spiritual things, yet be carnal. Yes. You know, and look at what Paul says. Chapter 3, 1 Corinthians chapter 3, coming back again. For ye are yet carnal, for whereas there is among you envying, strife, divisions, are ye not carnal and walk as men? Yes. Yes. They were interested in spiritual things. Such as the gifts of the Holy Spirit. And, and so on. But Paul says, and yet you are carnal. I don't know if I disturbed you. But it's good to be disturbed. Listen carefully. And then Paul says, For while one saith, I am of Paul, and another I am of, of Apollos, are ye not carnal? Yes. 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 Are ye not carnal and walk as mere men? Yes, you are talking like mere men. Yes. You speak like mere men. Yes. Now these are the expressions of Paul. Yes. You speak as mere men. Yes. And do you know one thing? By implication, what Paul says is that a spiritual man cannot speak as man. As mere man. Yes. A spiritual man cannot speak as man. That's important. And that's what Paul says. You walk as 
mere men. நீங்கள் சாதாரண மனிதனை போல நடக்கிறீர்கள் மனுஷ மார்க்கமாய் நடக்கிறீர்கள் So the spiritual man cannot speak as man. ஆகவே ஆவிக்குரிய மனிதன் சாதாரண மனிதனை போல பேச முடியாது. Then how will he speak? அவன் எப்படி பேசுவான்? எப்படி பேசுவான்? See. You know they will answer. He cannot speak as man. அவன் சாதாரண மனிதனை போல பேச முடியாது. அவன் எப்படி பேசுவான்? See, we have lot of problem. Inge da na mukka mega prachane hunde. See, this is where heavenly is not practical. Inge da na dey muriya ka unna dam varakira. That's what the natural mind says. It's not practical. Inge da na mamsa thakur. A spiritual man cannot speak as man, but how will he speak? Or avi kuriya mani da na mamsa thakur. Or avi kuriya mani da na. Who is spiritual man? Yar avi kuriya mani da na. Huh? So then you speak as what? நீங்கள் எப்படி பேசுகிறீர்கள் கம் ஆன் வை ஆர் யூ டவுட்டிங் சிஸ்டர் ஷாய்ஜா வி ஸ்பீக் அஸ் காட் நாம் தேவனை போல பேசுகிறோம் ஐ நோ வி கேன் நாட் பிலீவ் தட் இது நாம் ஏற்றுக்கொள்ள முடியாது காட் சேஸ் ஆனால் வேத வாக்கியம் காட்ஸ் வேர்ட் சேஸ் தேவன் யூ கேன் நாட் ஸ்பீக் அஸ் மேன் அவன் சாதாரண மனிதனை போல பேச முடியாது தென் ஹவ் டு யூ ஸ்பீக் எப்படி நீங்கள் பேசுகிறீர்கள் I know. Well, Joy, you think of yourself too high. Sagar Jai, you think you are too high. You think of yourself too high. That's what the word of God says. Can you change this word? Anal, Vedam is saying. In First Corinthians, you talk as mere men. You walk as mere men. Sadar na manchne pola pesh na dakkiriyil gal. Onna Corinthians lavasi <laughs> grome. You and I are commanded not to speak as men. நீங்களும் நானும் சாதாரண மனிதர்களை போல பேச கூடாது என்று கட்டளை கொடுக்கப்பட்டிருக்கிறோம் இன்று நாம் வாழ்கிற காலத்தில் ஆவிக்குரிய காரியங்களிலே அதிக வாஞ்சைகள் உண்டு so much of carnal man in that which is after you know which are called spiritual ஆவிக்குரிய காரியம் என்று அழைக்கப்படுதிலே अनेक மாம்சத்துக்குரிய மனிதன் காணப்படுகிறான் जो चीजें जो आदमी कहलाते हैं you know now we as we heard a while back i shared you know If we are living in a time everybody is fasting and praying na valgira inda kaalathile ellorum upavasithu jebikkirargal you ask them for what edarkaga jebikkirar endru kelungal some people want power silarku vallamai thevai some people want to save long lot of souls anegarku aathma aadayam seiya vendum because he has got a target of saving 200 people this year yenandal indha varadam 2000 200 aathmaakale rechikka vendum engira or ilakku avarku so there are a lot of carnal you know goals in the life of many believers so called agave anega viswasigal ipidipatta maamsathirkuri ilakkai kondirukkirargal you can have spiritual aavikuriya kaaryathai but the spiritual is born of god ஆனால் அந்த ஆவிக்குரிய காரியம் தேவனால் பிறந்ததாக இருக்க வேண்டும் இன்று நாளைக்கு நிறைவேற்றினார் 
and in doing the will of the father he fulfilled a ministry even so it shall be with our lives when we do his will we will fulfill a ministry so it's not that our carnal man getting into the things which are of the spirit now I may be misunderstood by all that I am sharing today and I do not know who all will be hearing this message you know but let me make it very clear brothers and sisters there is so much of carnality that has come into spiritual things you know many even fast and pray for power for gifts for gifts and for doing many things for God yes don't you think that doing God's work is not spiritual yeah the, everybody thinks that's spiritual you know but I want to tell you saints this carnal man can lay hold of, would like to lay hold of lot of things which are called spiritual. Yes. Amen. Amen. Nobody said Amen. Everybody seemed to be really brother's joy. Are you taking us to the heavenlies? Yeah, sure. You want to climb the hill? Come Come along. <laughs> Come along. That's what I would say to you. One step at a time we'll climb it. But let's have a vision of Mount Zion in our lives. You know, don't say, I know this, this, this carnal mind will always contradict because it's, it goes after reason. Yeah. You know, as, as, as we have heard, our conversation is in heavenlies. Yes or no? Do you agree that way? Then why did you get shocked when I said, shell shocked when I said, your conversation is as God? Not as men. <laughs> Not as men, but as God. Ah. Because the scripture says, our conversation is where? What do you say in heavenlies? Your conversation is with God. Yes. You know, if these things can be a light unto us, a conversation will change. There used to be a pastor. He used to visit houses. Some of you have heard me say this. You know, preachers have certain things that keep repeating once in a while. So bear with me. There may be others who have not heard it. When this pastor goes to visit a house, he goes to the door and he waits. He goes to the door and he waits for some time. And after some time, he will ring the bell. Don't ask me who this pastor is. But it's a, about a pastor. And when he was waiting outside, inside there was shouting. Flying saucers and yelling and everything. And when the bell rang, somebody came and saw. Oh my gosh, Master! Quiet. Everything subsided. Go and open the door. Somebody came. He would put up a good smile. And and said, Praise the Lord, Pastor. Say. 
know this is sometimes our houses are ipdi than sila velaigal nam veedugalil kaanapadugirathu pota kya pata nahi kisi aur ka ghar ho sakta hai all right but it, you know this is what we are ipdi than nam irukku and you know if we can really understand that our conversations in in the heavenlies i tell you what changes can happen in us nammude physical unnadai many a time we talk like mere men enna oru maatram nadaparum nam anega velagalile saadharana manidhar pole pesugirum god's word is coming to change our lives nammude vaalkai maatruvadharku deva our whole perspective you know uh, of how we look at our life will be changed nam nam vaalkai eppadi paarkrom ingira mulu you know the very way we consider things will change nam kaaryangal eppadi nidhanikkiromo adhuvum maari you know and it's my prayer god will help us devan namakku udavi seiyavendum endru naan jebikkiren you know so may god deliver us from this agave devan namakku as i say today there is so much of carnal man trying to lay hold of spiritual things agave maamsathukuriya manidhan aavikuriya kaaryangale pidikka merchikkiran endru sonne usse pakadta hai usko grahit karta tell me last time you fasted and prayed to overcome anger and the kobathe jeyam kolvadharku kadaisi muraiyaga eppozhudhu ningal ubavasithu jebithirgal endru sollungal prarthana nee prarthana thu roj karthe fasting jebam alla ubavasithu jebithirgal endru kadandha murai nee prarthana ubas prarthana me nee yav to karthe hamesha krodh ke upar jay paane ke liye fasting liya கோபத்தை மேற்கொள்வதற்கு நான் உபவாசித்து ஜெபித்தேன் என்று எப்பொழுது நீங்கள் சொல்ல முடியும் பொறாமையை மேற்கொள்வதற்கு கோபத்தை மேற்கொள்வதற்கு நாக்கை மேற்கொள்வதற்கு எப்பொழுதாவது உபவாசித்து ஜெபித்திருக்கிறீர்களா Ah, we can pray that God may keep sicknesses away from us. We can fast and pray for healing. But who will pray for this healing? This deliverance. Do you understand what I'm saying? No, this is not emphasized. Praying, seeking the Lord in His face for that character, that life to be brought in us. This we do not pray. namakullaga this is spiritual aavi kuriyad enna vendal namakullaga andha jeevan andha tanmai varavendum endru jeevikka vendum agave aavi kuriyad varangal illai endru solla those gifts are not for display it's for the edification of the body agave indha aavi kuriyad varangal velippaduthi kaanvikkiradukalla andha sabai kattu so my brothers and sisters true spirituality agave unmaiyana aavi kuriyad or the proof of true spirituality unmaiyana aavi kuriyad thinudaiya aadharam enna is that you are able to walk with god devanodu kuda neengal nadakka mudigirathu adhu dhaan adhan aadharam you know to to have the relationship with god devanodu kuda oru uravai kondirpadhu without any demonstration or proof that god is with us devan nammodu kuda irukkirar engira velippadiyana endha oru saatchiyo aadharamo illamal irundhalum kuda nadakkiren endru solugiradhu da you understand what i'm saying there is no proof to show to people janangalukku kanmai aadharam illai devan nammodu kuda irukkirar endru solluvathu you know there is no demonstration there is no uh, uh, outside evidence to prove to people that god is with us வெளிப்படுத்தி மற்றவர்களுக்கு காண்பிக்க எந்த ஒரு ஆதாரமும் இல்லை இருந்தாலும் நாம் தேவனோடு கூட நடக்கிறோம் அதுதான் ஆவிக்குரிய ஏனோ many a time we see that god hides himself பல நேரங்களிலே தேவன் தன்னை மறைத்திருக்கிறார் என்று நாம் பார்க்கிறோம் amen there is nothing that we can prove to others மற்றவர்களுக்கு வெளிப்படுத்தி காண்பிக்க ஒன்றும் இல்லை how often people is, you know discourage you by saying yeah you say that you are with god you are you are growing in god you went to this fellowship and everything in is your life is nothing etane mari janangal ungale utsaham milakka cheykirargal ningal sabai this nothing look at that person he also went to delhi ningalum delhi ku sendine and this is he what he became avan apdi mari naan oh delhi jagat nu kuch bhi nahi bana 
रोज जाके एक चर्च में बैठता है छह घंटा उधर चला जाता है पढ़ाई के लिए टाइम नहीं है तुम कुछ नहीं बना You know, everybody is wanting evidence of God being with you. This is the soul man. This is the carnal man that is asking for evidence. Oh, may God deliver us from this false spirituality. You know the people are asking for proof of spirituality in your life. Did not many people ask demand of Jesus Christ? Yes or no? Did he prove himself to me? So and so to anybody who asked him to prove himself? Prove. If you are the son, then prove. If you are the true Messiah, then come down. No, remember, brothers and sisters. There are many who ask for evidences of your relationship with the Lord. We are not here to prove that. Amen. We are not here to prove that. It is God for God to prove it. Amen. Whether the evidences are there or not, even when God will hide Himself in my life and your life, we are to walk by faith. Walk in sheer faith in the living God who has saved us and called us. That is true spirituality. Amen. Amen. Even when there is nothing to demonstrate, well, nothing to show, for the soul man to be satisfied, you know, we are living in a spiritual realm. Everything, they are looking for evidence. You understand what I'm saying? Proof of your relationship Oh, my brothers and sisters, listen carefully. You know, true spirituality is that you walk with God. You grow in the relationship. Even when you have nothing to show to people. Amen. That is spirituality. That is heavenliness. They follow the Lamb. Amen. Wherever He is taking us. Individually and collectively as His body. Yes, we follow the Lamb. No, remember Abraham of all in the Old Testament. You know, when everything was seemingly to deny God in his own life. Yes. Nothing so visible to prove. Nothing to demonstrate. Abraham walked in faith. Yes. You know, so this is true spirituality. To walk with God. To move on in the Lord. Yes. Dear brothers and sisters, God is seeking for His children. You know, to bring them to that place. For He can really count on them 
to walk with him by faith avargal viswasathinaley nadakkoodi avargal endru enna kudiya janangalaga avargal irukkar evidences endha or aadharam illamal irundhalum kuda avargal nadakkoodi avargal endru avargal ennumbadiyaga vaala vendum endru nenikkirar you know evidences many a time we want evidences the carnal man the soul man in us always would desire for evidences namakullaga irukkira maamsa manidan and aathma manidan eppozhudume aadharathe thedugiravana irukkira it is infancy and childhood idhu dhan oru aavikuriya kulandhai thanam when we have to depend on god for signs and evidences as proof அப்படியாக அற்புதத்தையும் அடையாளத்தையும் ஒரு அடையாளமாக ஆதாரமாக காண்பது பார்க்கும்பொழுது ஆரம்ப நாள் the days of their deliverance அவர்கள் விடுதலை செய்யப்பட்ட நாட்கள் God did many signs and wonders अनेक அற்புதங்களையும் அடையாளங்களையும் தேவன் செய்தார் He did that அதை அவர் செய்தார் In their infancy the Lord did that அவருடைய அவர்கள் பிறந்த நாட்களிலே தேவன் செய்தார் He demonstrated his great power அவர் தன்னுடைய மிகப்பெரிய வல்லமையை வெளிப்படுத்தி காண்பித்தார் So that they may believe on him அவரிலே விசுவாசிக்கும்படியாக to believe on the one who is the 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 god of covenant with their fathers or avarude murpradakalodu kuda seidha udanmadikeyin devan endru avargal ariyumbadiyaga seidhar parmeshwar krishna uthe naan paatha maadhi yes but thereafter anal adarkku apparamaga god wanted them to trust in him devan avargalai thanmel visuvasikka virumbinar to walk by faith விசுவாசத்தினாலே நடக்க விரும்பினார் எஸ் யூ நோ ஈவன் சோ இன் आवर ஸ்பிரிச்சுவல் லைஃப் நம்முடைய ஆவிக்குரிய வாழ்விலும் அப்படித்தான் என்ன ஹவ் மர்சிஃபுல் காட் வாஸ் இன் आवर லைஃப் நம்முடைய வாழ்விலே தேவன் எவ்வளவு விரக்குல இருந்தார் இன் आवर early days when we were born again நீங்கள் மறுபடியும் பிறந்து அந்த நாட்களிலே you remember those days அந்த நாட்களை நினைத்து பாருங்கள் God answered like this prayers உங்களுடைய ஜெபம் I know in my own life எப்படி இருந்தது answered prayers devan jabangale it was killed it was and god did that ananad is said that he did signs he did wonders arpudangale said he did miracles he did many things palavidamana arpudangale said that was the time of my infancy adu ennudaiya pirappin aarambha kaalam but the after anal adarkapparam god wants us to walk with him avarodu kuda Devan. he wants us to start, stand on our spiritual feet namude aavikuriya sonda kaalgalile nikka virumbugira yes god begins to withdraw those things from our life namude vaalkil irundhu devan avigalai ellam edukka aarambikkira and god called upon israel now to walk in faith israelargale indru ningal viswasathinal nadangal endru solugira but israel always wanted signs ஆனால் எப்பொழுதுமே இஸ்ரேவர்களுக்கு அடையாளம் தேவைப்பட்டது you know they could not live without signs அந்த அடையாளம் அற்புதம் இல்லாம அவங்க they could not live without wonders அந்த அற்புதம் இல்லாம வாழ முடியவில்லை they always wanted that அவர்கள் எப்பொழுதுமே அதை விரும்பினார்கள் how about you உங்களை குறித்து என்ன how about us நம்மை குறித்து என்ன you know it's important brothers and sisters agavin deva janangale unnu true spirituality is to walk with him without any evidences urmiyana avikuriya vaalkai enbadu endha oda aadharamum illamal avarodu kuda nadappadhaa yes if god has not answered your prayer ungal jabathe devan badhu kudukkavilla endra what do you think god has left you devan ungale kai vittu vittar nu nenikireengala you know it's here ingadan your faith and my faith is to be proved nammudaiya viswasam nirupikkapadavendum stick with god devanodu kuda thodarndu sellungal to seek his face avarudaiya mugathai theda vendum 
to ask him lord is there anything that hinders my walk with you umod kuda irukkira indha nadakkeyila edhavadhu thadaiyana oru kaariyam unda endru kekka vendum is there anything that hinders my walk with you lord devane umod kuda irukkira nadakkeyila naan edhavadhu thadaiyaga seigirena oh my god help us devana kudai seiyattum this is growing up in the lord idhu naan kartharkul valarvadhaagum amen this is increase in spirituality idhu naan aavikuriya valarchiyaagum being detached from this earth bhoomiyil irundhu vidupattu indha ulagathil always would demand of you know evidences and proof of your walk with the lord to be detached from this world ஆகவே எப்பொழுதுமே ஆதாரத்தை தேடுகிற இந்த உலகத்தை விட்டும் பூமியை விட்டும் விலகி நாம் வாழ்வதாம் அதிலிருந்து நாம் விடுதலை ஆக வேண்டும் and 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 pin down to this earth do you realize that idha ningal unandirukkireengala evlo adhigam aayi nammudaiya vaalkai idhanal pidikapetta naam kile thaikapettirukkirom don't do like this do like this yeah. please oh dear brothers and sisters what more can i say don't say anything more stop inna madhiyama naan enna solla vendum i think it looks like i'm half way through i can stop it now abhi na abhi dura you know and the lord in his great love devan than megapriya anbinale he can wean us from these these signs and outward things that we look for he can stop that and he will do that in our life naam edirpaarkira inda adayalangalum arbudangalilum irundhu devan nammai palmarakka seiyum mudiyum adbhut aur kaamo aur chamatkaron ke liye hum dalait hote hain ikshuk hote hain parmeshwar un cheezon se hame alag karna chahiye yes he will do that devan he wants to do that adhe seiya and he will do that he will, he will wean us away from those things andha kaaryangal irundhu devan adhe marakka seivar he will stop working those things andha kaaryangale avar seivadhil irundhu nirthuvar and where he will demand of us to walk by faith angirundhu avar viswasathinal nadakka nammai alaippan you know but remember aanal irundhu kollungal our senses nammudaiya pullar sense always demands for எப்பொழுதுமே டிஸ்ப்ளே வெளிப்படுத்தி ஆஃப் ஹி பீயிங் வித் us அவர் நம்மோடு கூட இருக்கிறார் என்கிறதை ஒரு ஆதாரப்பூர்வமாக நிரூபிக்கவே விரும்புகிறது ஜோ ஹம் ஜிக்கே உஸ்கே சாத் ஜோ ஹம் சல் வெளிப்படுத்தி காண்பிக்க விரும்புகிறது சோ மை டியர் பிரதர்ஸ் அண்ட் சிஸ்டர்ஸ் இன் தேவ ஜனங்களே மே காட் ரியலி டெலிவர் us தேவன் உண்மையாகவே நமக்கு விடுதலை தரட்டும் யூ نو சோ தீஸ் கொரிந்தியன் பிலீவர்ஸ் ஆகவே இந்த கொரிந்திய விசுவாசிகள் represents or represent uh, a retarded spiritual growth or or aavikuriya kundriya valarchiye kondavargaleye kaanvikkirargal pichhde hue aas ke dusre pichhde hue logo ka ka chinh hai yeah these kodundians represented retarded spiritual growth இந்த ஆவிக்குரிய இந்த குரந்தி விசுவாசிகள் ஆவிக்குரிய வளர்ச்சியை வளர்ச்சியின் குன்றிய தன்மையை காண்பிக்கிறார்கள் அவர்கள் ஆவிக்குரிய காரியங்களை அதிகமாய் நாடினாலும் கூட அவர்கள் ஆவிக்குரிய வளர்ச்சியிலே குண்டிய நிலைமையில் காணப்பட்டார்கள் தப்பி 
सॉरी थोड़ी पुड़े their spiritual growth was retarded avrude aavikuriya valarchi kundiya nilamil irundathu tarakki ruki hui thi ya badit thi ya pichhadi hui thi phir bhi irundhalum kuda they were interested in spiritual things avargal aavikuriya kaaryangalile adhiga naatamaa irundhargal you understand that ungalku puriyadhu even when we are spiritually retarded naam aavikuriya kundiya nilamil irundhalum still இருந்தாலும் கூட we can have interest in spiritual things quote and ஆவி குரிய காரியங்களிலே அதிக நாட்டமாய் இருக்க முடியும் can we understand that இது உங்களுக்கு புரிகிறதா yes my son thank you i hope everybody said that even while we are retarded nam aavikuriya valarchil kondri irkum bolude kuda still we can have interest in spiritual things irundhalum aavikuriya kaaryangalile adhiga vaanjeyodu kuda irukka mudiyum idu mudiyuma it's possible that's a very general question is it possible with you ungalku adu saathiyama nobody answered yaaru mal solugiradilla certain questions are very easy to answer right sila kelvigal elidaga bathu the question is is that possible with you ungalodu kuda adu saathiyama is it possible with me enakku saathiyama i am in a place of you know i am retarded spiritually in my spiritual growth there is no progression but i can have interest in spiritual things enude aavikuriya valarchi nindru poi vittathu naan valaravillai irundhalum kuda naan aavikuriya kaaryangalile adhiga aavala irukkalam naatam kollalam idu saathiyam dhaan hum andar apne aatmik cheezon ko paane ki ikshar Now these are questions we need to ask ourselves. In the kelvigale naam namakku naame kekka vendum. We can be very much like the Corinthians. Naam Corinthians pole irukalam. Yes. Dear brothers and sisters, so we have seen the true meaning of spirituality. En deva janangale unmaiyana aavikuriya vaalvai athathe naam ketto. For he that is spiritual ஆவிக்குரியவன் எவனோ seeketh after that which is born of the spirit ஆவியினால் பிறந்த காரியங்களை அவன் தேடுவான் he that is spiritual ஆவிக்குரியவன் எவனோ would talk about the condition of our life அது நம்முடைய வாழ்க்கையினுடைய நிலைமை குறித்து பேசுகிறது he that is truly spiritual உண்மையான ஆவிக்குரியவன் எவனோ he will seek after that which is born of the spirit aavinal piranda karyangalai avan theduvan that which is heavenly unnada karyangal that is of god devunude karyangale veglo not for the sake of the satisfaction not for the satisfaction of the carnal senses in me enakullaga irukkira andha maamsathirkuriya subhavangalai sandoshapaduthuvadharkagavo dripti paduthuvadharkagavo alle yes but we strongly desire anal for that which is born of the spirit aavi aavinal piranda karyangalukaga adhigamaga naam vaanjikrom enbadhaa yes so my brothers and sisters i would close here though i have much more to share agave naan endru nerivu seigiren thank you brother we appreciate that you are very sensitive to the lord in these days yeah thank you at least you said that in your heart praise god so may god really help us devan namak urmaiya udavi seiyum i hope the lord has shown us the mirror of god's word deva vaarthinude kannadiya namak devan kaanvitha yes though we are retarded spiritually in our spiritual growth we can still be interested in spiritual things innum naam aavikuriya kaaryangalile aarvamai irukkalam a lot of desire in the things which are spiritual 
அதிகுரிய காரியங்களிலே அதிக வாஞ்சை உள்ளவர்கள் போல் இருக்கிறோம் சோ மே காட் ஹெல்ப் us to see where we really are Lot of desire in the things which are of the spirit. I am not explaining them. If I explain, some of you will not come for the weekly gatherings. Some of you will not come for any gathering except on Sunday. Some of you will come on a Sunday and get away before meeting anybody. Please. But let me say this with all my heart. May God deliver us from false spirituality. பொய்யான ஆவிக்குரிய வாழ்வில் இருந்து தேவன் நம்மளை many things as spiritual अनेक காரியங்கள் ஆவிக்குரியது போல தெரியும் but i want to tell you they are not spiritual அவைகள் ஆவிக்குரியவள் அல்ல and this carnal man has a desire அந்த மாம்ச மனிதனுக்கு ஒரு வாஞ்சை இருக்கிறது to seek for that which is spiritual அந்த ஆவிக்குரிய காரியங்களை படிப்பதற்கு அவன் இருக்கப்பட்ட you know we can read many books பல புத்தகங்களை வாசிக்கலாம் that's why you stopping explanation is books அதிகமாய் அறிந்து கொள்ள வேண்டும் என்கிற ஒரு இருந்தாலும் கூட அந்த மண்டலத்திலே ஒரு தேவனையோ சபையோ வைத்து விளையாட நாம் வரவில்லை இந்த சபைக்கு தேவனுங்கள் ரட்சித்து கொண்டு வந்திருக்கிறார் நாம் விரும்புகிற அப்படி வாழ்வதற்காக he wants us to live avar eppadi namai vaala virumbugara appadi vaala in a walking with him avarod kuda nadakka in the realms of the heavenlies and the unnatha mandalangalil nadapparukka if your eyes have caught the vision of his glorious church avarudaiya and the magimayil sabayin and the darshanathai neengal paarthal yes if you have really come in neengal unmaiyagave adai paarthal i want to tell you the church is heavenly and the sabai unnathamagave irukkirathu she is holy spiritual அது முழுவதுமாக ஆவிக்குரியது she got no roots in the earth here அவளுக்கு பூமியில எந்த ஒரு வேர் god help us shall we all stand up in his presence அவருடைய பிரசனத்தில இருந்து காணப்படுவோமாக bless the lord thank you jesus your prayer today in the light of all that we heard once again it's a searching word and it's time brothers and sisters that we make ourselves we give ourselves to the word and to the holy spirit Oh may God deliver us from that which is not spiritual from all kinds of false spirituality from every kind of mysticism that has crept into the church though you may not be into it but somehow you're influenced by that somewhere in your mind mysticism has to do with the soul man mystery has to do with the holy spirit spirituality has to do with the spirit of god you know may, may the truth set us free as the holy spirit would shed light upon the truth thank you jesus
We are so much influenced by a false spirituality. May His word cleanse us. May His word deliver us. And let the word of God liberate our spiritual man. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, may God help all of us. Let's really pray to God in our hearts. How even this carnal man can have interest in spiritual things. We have seen it from the life of the Corinthians. Oh, may God help us. Thank you, Jesus. Even when our lives are retarded spiritually, not growing at all, we can still show interest in the things which are spiritual in nature. And yet, spiritually retarded. No growth. Thank you, Jesus. Can have many activities which are visible. Thank you, Lord Jesus. But the inward man is no more in link with God, walking with God, being fed by God, the Holy Spirit. Set my spirit free that I may worship thee. Set my spirit free that I may Let our bondage go and let the
all are so questions. Not only about others, but about ourselves. Let his word deliver us. True spirituality is what the Lord is after. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. While many things will be burned in the day of the Lord, there are those who will enter it. That glorious, that glorious place in Christ Jesus. Hallelujah. May God help us. While many things will become ashes, there are those things which will enter into that glorious realm. Thank you, Jesus. That is true spirituality. Yes. May God help us, brothers and sisters, there's much here that the Holy Spirit alone can help us. And let's be open. This spiritual life is not before men. It's before God primarily. And it is for God to reveal this unto men. We do not live for evidences before others. To show to others. Hallelujah. It's unto God. It's unto God. Walking with Him. Yes. Yes. That is what we are called to be as a people. Thank you, Lord. We have the gifts of the Spirit. We thank God for that. That we can speak in tongues. We can pray in tongues. We can sing in tongues. Praise God. We thank God for prophecies. The gifts of the Spirit. But this is for the building up the body. Not for demonstration. Not to show to people. Not to prove myself to anybody. Hallelujah. It's for the body of Christ. The church to grow. To her place. Yes. In Him. Thank you Lord. Jesus. Oh, bless the Lord. Help us, brothers and sisters. God will help us. God will help you. I'm sure God will help me. And he is helping those who are open to him as we heard from the Lord today in prophetic expression. He is calling us to that place that he may have a fresh work initiated in our lives in these days. So don't let these days go pass by. These days go, you know, uh, you know, just these days go by in our lives. Pass by. But let's be available for God to do a work in us in these days. Yes, may God help all of us. Thank you, Jesus. As I share a while back, Make this our prayer. Lord, send the light on the truth. That it does not end up as mere teaching and doctrine in my life, Lord. Please help. Let that be our prayer. I would request Brother Sam to come forward and help us further. Father, we thank Thee for Thy precious word. We see that You are digging deep into our lives. Even as we've been hearing in the morning devotions, You've been digging deep in order to carve out something that is of Thine. 
And we know that there has to be a pulling down, a removal of the things that are embedded in us so that a proper building can take place. O oh God, we thank Thee for Thy precious Holy Spirit. O oh God, who speaks to us into our innermost being. We have often had a question in our minds, Lord, how will others know that we belong to You? Lord, it is for You to reveal it. We have the answer this, this morning, this afternoon. It is for you to reveal it. Amen. Oh, we thank you, Father. We thank you. That we may not speak as mere men. And we, when we do not speak as man, we speak as God. Oh, God, a statement which is, Lord, very revolutionary something that is true, something that, Lord, agrees with your word. Lord, you have called us to be a heavenly people in conversation with our heavenly Father. Oh, we thank you, Father, we thank you. Many, many precious counsels you have revealed to us and made it known to us. Lord, even revealing what the Corinthian Christians were, carnal. They wanted a display of things because of carnality. But we have seen what true spirituality is. Oh God, it speaks of that inner life, that inner work that is registering deep within us. Oh God, we just thank Thee. And one day there is going to be a manifestation. It is in your time. And Lord, when you would do it, it's not only a manifestation of an individual, but of the whole body of Christ. This body will be manifested when we all walk in that way that you are showing us. When we all would humble ourselves and say, Lord, we receive your word. Let your word cleanse us, purify us, even this afternoon, Lord. Amen. Let it cleanse us and purify us. Amen. May we have no reservations. May we not hold back and justify ourselves. O oh God. O oh God. O oh, help us. Help us. How true. When there is a retarded spirituality in us, when we are not in talking terms with one another, we keep ourselves away from others. We still want to be spiritual. We still want to, Lord, desire to be spiritual. That's a false spirituality. Oh, may there be a conviction in our hearts, Lord, in some hearts, even this day. Give us your grace to receive your engrafted word that is able to build us up in the most holy faith. Truly, O oh God, we thank you that you are at work in the lives of those who are open and available to thy Holy Spirit. We thank you that your Holy Spirit is at work. We worship thee, we bless thee, we give you thanks for every word that you have spoken. May the light dawn upon the truth. And may it bring us into that holy hill, which is thy dwelling place, which is thy tabernacle. O oh God, that place where you dwell. You dwell even with the high and, in the high and holy place with him who is of a broken and a contrite heart and who trembles at your word. Let there be such a trembling in our hearts even this day, Lord. The fear of God will take hold of us. That you are in this place. You are here in us, Lord. You are here with us. Oh, we thank you, Father. Sanctify us and cleanse us. 
Bring us into that place where you are. Oh, that realm where you dwell. Oh, we thank you, Father. We thank thee. We praise thee. We bless thee. We give you all the honor, the glory that is due unto thee. In Jesus' most precious name. Amen.